What's up team? Do you long to be the action hero of a roguelike with an elegant balance between shooting, dodging, and flipping tables with a ton of content to unlock? This is Enter the Gungeon. Since this game is all about guns, let's start with shooting. All four characters start out with unique gear and items. Your starter gun may suck, but it has infinite ammo, unlike most of the other guns you'll find. There are over 300 weapons to unlock, and you'll also discover synergies, which can further change and improve their performance. Alright, I get it. Enter the gungeon, hope for good drops, and shoot at the bad guys. If you're lucky enough to beat the boss at the end of each floor, you'll be rewarded with these hegemony credits, which you can use to purchase new and better gear for future runs. Also, you can eventually find and save various trapped NPCs. Releasing them will often help you since they may offer new services, items, or quests back at the breach where you started. Damn, I've unlocked a lot of stuff, but I'm still sucking at this game. Am I no good at shooting? Let's learn about dodging. If you aren't dodging, you're dying. It's that simple. A dodge roll makes you invulnerable during most of your roll, and this is absolutely critical to survive the bullet hell experience the game will often throw at you. When things get too crazy, even for your dodge roll, you can use a blank, which briefly removes all enemy gunfire, giving you just enough time to frantically get in a few more hits while you desperately find cover. Your main goal is to preserve your precious hit points shown here. Rewards for completing a room are rare, and buying health at the shop can be expensive, so it's better to just focus on getting good. This merchant sometimes gives you good advice, and the items, guns, buffs, and story in the game often take a lighthearted and humorous approach. You see, you came to the gungeon to find a mythical gun that can kill the past. Apparently, the four Gungeoneers have some torrid history, and your only hope is to find this insane relic and get a second shot at making things right. Damn, now that I'm getting better at dodge rolling, I've been able to see a lot more of the game, but I'm still dying constantly. Do you have to be superhuman to beat this game? Am I no good at shooting and dodging? Right, let's learn about flipping tables. Some rooms have dangerous pits to avoid, but also these impassable walls, which are your best friend when blocking bullets. But sometimes there are these tables that you can flip over and use as temporary cover. They can't stop bullets forever, but they're so important important for giving you safe cover and absorbing the torrent of bullets in the air. Okay, okay, I think I have the hang of this now. Between shooting, dodging, and flipping tables, I've been able to reach the fifth chamber. But my journey isn't over there. Enter the Gungeon is filled with secrets, and in order to get the real endings, you'll need to craft the, the bullet, bullet needed, needed to, to kill, kill the past by finding and delivering some specific items to the forge. And between unlocking guns, items, new characters, new levels, and new bosses, I ended up logging nearly 100 hours. This game kept me going with its unique style, difficult challenge, slick animations, visuals, and music, and the insane amount of content to unlock and discover. If you love randomized runs with outlandish weapons, secrets, copious shootouts, a good sense of humor, and appreciate nods and references to other classic and retro games, then you'll probably enjoy Enter the Gungeon. If you hate roguelikes with lethal challenges and obscure secrets, then this game might not be for you. There is a local co-op feature, which my daughters and I were able to play together, and this worked well, but I was disappointed pointed to find out that it's not online co-op. There are some workarounds the community have figured out to play online, but I would have much preferred native support. Also, there's this ammo nomicon, which lets you read about new items and gear, but sometimes it's hard to know what the item or weapon actually does. Like for example, when you beat the boss without taking any damage, you get a master round item, which gives you an extra heart container. Problem is, the game never explains this anywhere in the description. It seems like a pretty important stat to mention though. Sure, maybe some of you observing games gamers actually noticed a new heart appear in your life total, but I just finished fighting a medusi wielding Gorgon, who can turn me into stoner mush with a myriad of attacks, so cut me some slack. Oh, and some items and events will curse you, which increases the chance of running into these bright red hellish mobs. Just know that every time you think you have a handle on this game, there's always some wicked challenger twist waiting around the corner. Check out my other video with tips that I wish I knew when I started if you're looking for some help, but in short, keep your distance when fighting enemies and don't make the mistake of saving your best gun for the end boss. Instead, enter each room like it's your last, and keep your best weapon at the ready. If a bunch of weak little bullet kin show up, just change back to your smaller weapon to deal with them. And remember, this was a quick and dirty review of Enter the Gungeon.